Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kodiak 10 inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. Uh, this set is going to provide these two brake assemblies that will allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes for superior performance. Uh, these are going to work for your single 3,500 pound capacity axle with the eight, number 84 spindles. Uh, the rotor diameter here is 10 inches and it's got a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. So this will work for your wheels that are 13 inches and larger. Upgrading your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes is going to dramatically shorten your stopping distance and provide smoother and more controlled braking than uh, you're used to with your drum brakes. These do have ceramic disc uh, brake pads, ceramic brake pads. So if I uh, pull this out here, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. So our brake pads are going to provide increased stopping power for us. And then inside there, you can see that on the back side, we do have a larger uh, two and a quarter inch diameter stainless steel piston that's going to provide uh, fast responsive braking for us. And so these are going to do a great job. They are going to help keep the trailer from pushing and pulling as we're traveling down the road. Uh, the, Another advantage of having disc brakes is that they are going to require less maintenance, uh, which is going to save you time and money. There's fewer components that could uh, potentially go wrong that you'd have to replace, uh, so that's going to save you some money. The one-piece hub and rotor assembly is going to reduce the chance of uneven rotor wear. You do have the vented design here that's going to displace heat faster to help prevent premature brake pad wear. And these do have a high quality automotive grade construction, so they are going to be very long lasting. Uh, the disc brakes do require a higher line pressure than your standard drum brakes. Uh, so you'll need a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or more. Uh, so uh, if you don't already have that, we do sell those separately here at eTrailer.com. Uh, you are just you are going to need that. It is required to uh, activate these brakes, so you want to make sure you're using the right components. Uh, while the brake lines and actuator are not included, uh, this is going to include these two Decromat plated cast iron hub and rotor assemblies with the five half inch pre-installed wheel bolts each. Uh, you're also going to get the two uh, CodaGuard coated cast iron calipers, the two Decromat plated ductile iron caliper mounting brackets. You can see back here, these do have the four bolt brake flange configuration. And you're also going to get the four stainless steel caliper mounting bolts. In addition to those, you will also get two inner bearings here, as you can see as well as two outer bearings. Those are going to be the part numbers that you see on the screen there. Uh, the inner and outer races are already installed and that's where those bearings are going to sit. Um, but you can see those part numbers on the screen there as well. You're also going to get two grease seals and two easy lube grease caps that will allow you to keep your uh, grease contained but then also very easily access your spindle so that you can pump grease in there through your easy lube spindle. Make sure that everything's nice and lubricated. Uh, the part numbers, as you can see on the screen there, uh, for your uh, grease cap and grease seal. And then, of course, you are going to get the 10 half inch zinc plated steel lug nuts. Now, the uh, Dacromat, Codeguard, and zinc plating uh, are going to make this a great option for your boat trailers and uh, your trailers that are used in coastal areas or in heavily treated roads where uh, salt is going to be a major factor. Uh, these aren't going to last as long as your stainless steel uh, brakes, but they are going to be significantly less expensive than your stainless steel. And they're still going to have, uh, with that dac Dacromat finish, there's going to be um, a corrosion resistance of 
300 to 400 hour salt spray rating. And then with your Codeguard coating uh, on your calipers here, it's going to offer a 500 to 600 hour salt spray rating. So it's gonna provide even more uh, rust and corrosion resistance. So they are gonna hold up really well for years, uh, but they aren't quite as uh, long lasting as your stainless steel, but still a better, better price point. So make sure you're getting the right uh, system for you. If you are switching from your drum brakes, uh, these are going to be a great upgrade for you. And that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.